remember when your aunt and uncle made the plan for this place. I just didn't think it was possible. Cal tried to get me to come here for years. I thought it would make me homesick. That it would be too painful to face all those memories. I can understand that. I am so sorry, Cora. I should have done more to save our planet. You did everything you could. You sacrificed yourself to save us. You were a hero, Father. I ripped you from your home. And I found a new one. Here. And I promise you, this time I will save it. I will not let what happened to Krypton happen here. If Kalel is anything like his father, all of Krypton's records should be stored in here. Kara, are you okay? Yes. <laughs> I'm just surprised that everything's still in order after. Of course it is. That's what I'm here for. You have a Kellex. <laughs> Kellex, my father is looking for scientific data about Krypton, specifically from the time right before the planet exploded. I will pull up everything I have. Kara. I think I know how to save your oceans. Determining who's responsible for these so-called garbage islands proves just as messy as cleaning up the islands themselves. You sound like a human sleep aid. <laughs> what happened to the Luther Corp angle? We know Lex's mismanagement of the DEO is responsible for this. We actually don't. When I finally got my Luther Corp source on the phone, they said Lex had hired a third party to dispose of the DEO waste. Now, it wasn't even illegal. They exploited a loophole in government regulations. If anything, the system's to blame for the fire. The unseen toxicity of Lex is the fire. Figure it out. The fire is 100% contained. Good. Well, I am running a scan on that garbage mass, just cataloging what other DEO remnants might not have been properly disposed of. I can only imagine how long that list is going to be. Hey, how is the fortress? I, I mean, since you've been back, are, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. But this planet isn't. At the fortress, we ran a full comparison of Earth's oceanic readings to Krypton's just before it exploded. As I thought, your ocean's toxicity levels have put Earth in the same trajectory as Krypton. But perhaps he can help. This is Oscar. Looks like Kellex, just with some ugly 80s-style shoulder pads. It was Kellex, but my father figured out a way to add some modifications that will enable him to clean Earth's oceans right now. Is Oscar an acronym? Oh, no. He's named after that irritable green creature who lives with the garbage. Yes, he binge-watched Sesame Street while I was recovering under the sun lamps. Crash course on Earth customs. <laughs> Did you upgrade him with clue and technology? I would hardly call it an upgrade. I... I attached a Kolu and energy core so Oscar can shrink trash and convert it into energy in seconds. Oscar will then absorb that energy, rendering it harmless. Okay, I will admit that that is very impressive, but the Earth is covered in 70% water. I mean, do you really think that Oscar can handle that? Yes, and this is something I could never have achieved on Krypton. Your planet has an amazing melting pot of alien technology that we never had access to on Krypton. That's what concerns me. Some alien technology interacts poorly with others. Plus, I saw kryptonite out there. Kryptonite? Yes, but you must have been too far away from the garbage to feel its effect. But that's my point. We don't know the full scope of the garbage on those islands. We should run some tests before releasing Zorel's invention. I understand your concern. I wish I could give you an exact timeline of when Earth will reach Krypton's tipping point. But that's the thing. Once you can see the tipping point, it's too late. That's why we need to act now. 